welcome to Wednesday's edition of That's So Facebook. Cause it's so Facebook. We start today with Robin Thicke and Pharrell Williams. Marvin Gaye's daughter was suing because the song sounded familiar. A lot of people said, well, all these songs kind of sound familiar. What are you talking about? But I guess a judge agreed with her and came back with a $7.3 million verdict is what they owe her. The song itself made about $16 million. So, yeah, almost half is going to go to the Marvin Gaye family. Hey, that's so Facebook! Wack. Really weird news. I mean, it's unexpected. Kim Kardashian got naked yet again. We're not sure why, but there's more photos of Kim Kardashian naked. It's almost like I want to be, hey, it's like when you're a parent and you have little kids and you go, hey, go put your clothes on. We don't want to see this right now. We've seen you enough naked. Don't you have a husband? Don't you want, doesn't he want to see you naked? Can't you show someone else? Why do you have to keep coming around me naked? Stop it. Facebook. Well, years later, after the Selma Bridge crossing thing, well, the presidents decide to go back. President Barack Obama's there, and they take a photo, and they put it up in the New York Times. Well, it got people upset, not because of the photo, but because of what they left out. President George W. Bush was also there. He was on the other side of the road, but they didn't have a picture of him in it. They only had the left side, not the right side. So... Let the conspiracy theories begin and let the arguments begin. Who's right? Who's wrong? Is it just a photo? Is it a mistake? Or is it mean something more? That's so Facebook. Well, there you go. Again, a quick reminder. I need your videos. Record yourself saying that's so Facebook and you could be on the next edition of that's so Facebook. And remember, someone, somehow, somewhere, sometime could tell you that's so Facebook. Enjoy your day.